Julie, you and I last spoke in your San Francisco store, beautiful store, just opening for the very first time. Seven days later, it was closed due to the pandemic. Talk to us about the roller coaster this has been for you in terms of running both an online marketplace that had just been starting to expand to brick and mortar. Well, gosh, you know, it, um, I mean, everyone who has any kind of business has been through this, but we went from boom to, oh, we can't conduct business. And it was really hard in the state of California. The store that you and I sat in, literally, I think it was under a week that we had to shut it down. So it never got properly launched. So we had to shut our stores down in California. We shut our uh, operation centers down, and then we had to reinvent the business. So we started doing virtual consultations. Eventually, we did curbside pickups. Um, but look, that was then, um, and we just went, had a really a nosedive in our business. But we're we're back, and the stores are open. In fact, we're excited that um, we are going to open another store in Chicago this quarter. So very exciting. So. Having a brick and mortar presence is still a part of your strategy because, you know, there's been some concern that physical retail will never be the same, will never recover, though online retail is a, is a different story. Look, um, we're committed to retail. And if you go to our stores now, uh, putting San Francisco aside, there are lines outside waiting to get in because we're practicing all good social distancing and great COVID free um, practices, but there are lines to get in. People still love shopping. They love creating an event. They love bringing their consignment. They love talking to our experts. So we're committed. We're committed to brick and mortar stores. Now, most of our business by far is online, but stores are an important part of our strategy. Now, investors are clearly excited about this partnership with Gucci. That said, Gucci is a luxury brand. You, we're in a recession right now. You've got a lot of People who are suffering, who've lost their jobs, can they really afford to buy Gucci uh, and other things, even uh, on the secondhand market? Why do you think this, how, how much do you think this is going to drive business for you? Well, look, uh, this is really about sustainability and it's about making sure that we talk to the world, really, because Gucci is a worldwide brand, about the importance of recirculating goods and the power of consignment. So it really is more of a statement about this is a really good thing to do. If you buy something of quality like Gucci and Gucci still making sales worldwide and in the U.S., you should think about recirculating your old goods and, and the real rail should be your partner. But it is a dedication to sustainability. Um, and when someone does either buy on the real rail or consign, Gucci and the real rail are planting a tree from one tree planted. So it's really um, a strong statement about the positive impact of consignment on the planet. So what is your outlook for the holiday season? We just saw Amazon delay Prime Day to later this month. And I think you've got a lot of retailers just trying to figure out um, how to ride uh, the waves that, that just seem to keep coming for better or for worse. Look, I would be a fool to forecast. Let me tell you how we're preparing. We're preparing for a really good holiday season because we may have one. I mean, the truth is no one knows. Uh, March 1st, if you would have said we're going to shut down our, our brick and mortar stores and our luxury consignment offices for months, I would have said, why, why would we do that? So um, I would say we're preparing for a good one. Um, we've seen a strong demand in our products, and I would expect that demand to accelerate during gift giving time. So uh, we're ready. And if, uh, if the market's there, we'll be able to fulfill those orders. What is your vision then as we come out of the pandemic? We don't know exactly what normal is going to be. What is the new normal um, in the future that you see in terms of the amount of shopping that happens online and the amount that still is, you know, getting out on the street and going into a real, real store? What's that balance? Well, sure. I mean, that's also a difficult question. But look, the demise of retail happened before the pandemic. So it put even more pressure on more standard brick and mortar stores to reinvent themselves. And I think they will. I mean, people love to be social. They love to get out and, and do things that are different. 
honestly, the lines outside the real real attest to people do want to go in the store. They want to see things. They want to have a social event. But I think it puts pressure on all retailers to do something different, engage your customer in a different way, and create more of a great living, changing environment to get them excited about shopping again. It's not impossible, but what was, it was a dying, it was an industry under pressure before COVID pushed it over the edge. And whenever that happens, it means it leaves the door open for innovation. And um, we've always been innovating. It gives us more opportunities to try new things too. And last quick question, obviously, you've been working in Silicon Valley a long time, going back to pets.com and, and even before that, a lot of businesses have been suffering as a result of the pandemic, but you've seen Silicon Valley and the tech industry weather major crises. Do you think this crisis will be different for tech or no? Oh, I think so. I mean, look, um, first of all, I believe, in, I believe in humans' ability to create and innovate. So we will be back, it'll look different. Personally, I'm, I'm worried at some of the tech companies that said we're going to be virtual for X number of years, or they've said another two years. I actually don't believe that's good for creativity, innovation, for people's um, really soul. Because when you work together and you collaborate, there is another entity in the room, and that's that collective mind. You don't get that the same um, over virtual. So we're looking forward to getting back as a company. We're not giving up our real estate space, but look, uh, in times of great uncertainty and when things change, it always leaves opportunities for new businesses to really do well and for people okay. to innovate. And that really is the human spirit.